Donald Trump is in so much trouble, guys. He is in so much trouble over this developing story of how he took documents, took boxes out of the White House in his final days, and then he brought them down to his personal home and hid them away. We've covered that a ton. And in and of itself, if that's all he did, that is super duper 100% illegal. But now we have confirmation that some of the documents he took and some of the documents that he took and they haven't found yet were classified top secret documents, which in my view and in the view of many experts is treasonous. He is putting national security at risk and he's stealing private classified information from the American people that he doesn't have ownership of because he's not president anymore. Here's some of the reporting. It says two sources tell the post that while it is unclear how many classified documents were among those received by the archives, some bore markings that the information was extremely sensitive and would be limited to a small group of officials with authority to view such highly classified information. As president, Trump had the power to order declassification of any intelligence he desired. However, it is less clear whether that gave him the power to smuggle out classified documents marked top secret to keep it as residence when he is no longer president. Quote, the existence of clearly marked classified information in the trove, which had not previously been reported, is likely to intensify the legal pressure that Trump or his staffers could face and raises new questions about why the materials were taken out of the White House in the first place, notes the Post. So very clearly, what we're seeing is not just Donald Trump taking benign documents, not just Donald Trump taking documents that maybe aren't national security related, but make him look dumb, make him look stupid, make him look criminal in a personal sense. But we have documents that are clearly unambiguously marked top secret and classified and Donald Trump without any permission, without any oversight, stole those documents and brought them down to his personal property in another state. This is utterly unambiguously a crime against national security, against the American people, and against any form of decency. And you might say to yourself, well, maybe it's an accident, but we have to put this in the context of who Donald Trump is. And a former Republican and a prosecutor really laid it out in the following quote I want to read to you. Jolly said the situation is particularly alarming given the context. It's easy to think of presidential records as being benign, and I'm sure many of the records are benign, but consider Consider that this is a president who was twice impeached for malfeasance and maladministration within office, and he is also somebody who is under criminal investigation in multiple jurisdictions, so there certainly could be evidentiary information that is relevant, not just to a fact-finding investigation of the Congress, but to criminal investigations and investigations that might relate to behaviors that have not yet been identified. Donald Trump is in so much trouble, guys. Civil stuff criminal stuff, constitutional stuff, the J6 stuff in multiple states, federal and state level, everywhere he is in trouble. He has all the motivation in the world to steal documents to hide his crimes. And whether or not these documents are part of that, it's clearly part of his intent. Donald Trump took top secret classified documents in a way that if anyone else did it, we're talking not just regular people, but a member of Congress or a senator or a top civil servant. If they did that, they would be in jail for treason and espionage. And Donald Trump deserves the same fate.